Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse, Thursday, January 23rd. Now, last night at midnight, the U.S. Attorney's Office filed its sentencing memorandum on Ghislaine Maxwell. They want at least 30 years. They say she shows no remorse. True. They say that she got special privileges in prison. Tell me more, because there were a lot of complaints from her. In any event, the sentencing will be next Tuesday. Uh, the 28th of June at 11 a.m. We'll be live tweeting it. And there's a dispute about which victims can speak with Maxwell saying that some victims are not in the right time frame. Victims, but not in the right time frame. Or probably not admitting they're victims. In other news, now this will go faster. Uh, Lev Parnas, you may have heard of him. Um, he wants time served, and he quotes in his sentencing memorandum positive reviews of his cooperation by Schiff, Pelosi, and Nadler. No comment. Uh, Trevor Miller of Nicola. Um, his trial is supposed to begin July 18th, and we're all geared up to cover it. But yesterday, a superseding indictment based on land in Utah that he used, somehow it's related to the case. He says it's not, but his lawyers want a 30-day adjournment of the trial. We don't know yet how that's going to be ruled on. We also covered yesterday, we didn't cover Schulte, the Josh Schulte case, CIA leaks, because it was a day off again by Judge Furman. should begin tomorrow, re, re begin tomorrow. Um, but we did cover a D.C. case then, uh, Victoria Charity White. She was arrested for being in the Capitol on July, uh, January 6th. She called her federal defender, federal public defender, a grifter, and said she may have been sexually assaulted there in that tunnel. Speaking of sexual assault, check it out. Speaking of sexual assault, the United Nations specializes in it. We published exclusively audio that the Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, covered up one of his cronies shoving his hands down the pants of a senior UN official, a woman, and he covered it up. Now, there's been no follow-up inside the UN because those guys are, I don't know, I guess to stay in there you have to be nice or they just don't read the news. But, nor was there at yesterday's State Department briefing any questions about this stuff. Now, Linda Thomas-Greenfield says she has COVID, so we've said get well soon, but use this time to reverse retaliation and censorship by the United Nations. Okay, we're going in.